Hey guys, what's up? Carter here. I really hate to do this video and I debated back and forth whether I wanted to or not, but what the hell? Why not? This is a follow-up video to my R Italian style switchblades practical. Uh, that video I put up, uh, I don't know, what was it, two weeks ago, something like that. It's, re it's received a lot of flack. In fact, it's kind of the uh, the video with the worst likes to dislike ratio that I think I have. I'm, I don't, yeah, in fact, it may be the, not only the video that has the worst ratio, but also I think it's the video that has the most dislikes. I think it's got like seven or eight, and a lot of people hated that video. And I don't quite, uh, don't quite understand why, but this video is in response to that. And by no means am I changing my um, position. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm kind of wanting to push it further and, and kind of give some more examples of my position. Uh, first off, I have some switchblades here. And, well, first off, I love Italian-style stilettos. I do. Um, it's been a while since I've kind of really been into them, but... Man, there's just, you know, nothing cooler than when you pop these suckers open, that sound, and just the look of them. Growing up in the 80s, all kinds of movies had switchblades. Absolutely love them. But, you know, I'm not going to, just because I like something doesn't mean I'm going to make believe it's some sort of, you know, something that it's not. Uh, first off, here we have Switchblades of Italy. This is written by Tim Zinzer, Dan Fuller, and Neil Punchard. I'm sorry if I misspell or mispronounce any of those names. Um, excellent, excellent book. If you are into Italian style stilettos, uh, this is really the only book for you. There's not a whole lot of stuff out there specifically tailored to it. There's a few, and this is by far the best. Um, this is not a novelty book. You know, this isn't like a little crappy book. I mean, this is serious research went into this, into the history, which isn't easy because. Uh, the, you know, the history of Italian style switchblades is, is murky at best. A lot of it wasn't documented. A lot of it's just memory and hearsay. So a lot of effort was put into compiling all this data, getting all these photographs of all these historical switchblade pieces and uh, presenting it. A lot of these guys are still very, very, very active in the switchblade community. A lot of them are on Talkblade and Sharper Deals. Um, you know, and they're just guys that have an extreme passion for switchblades. So, first of all, shout out to this book. If you are into something like this, definitely pick it up, I believe. It was kind of scarce there for a while, but they did a... I mean, look at this. Here is the patent of a... I think it was a Latima, an original Latima, very old school switchblade and you know this is the the patent drawing the different figures of how it works all laid out here um, just really really cool stuff from a long long time ago um, so definitely yeah I think it's uh, they did another print of it so I think you can actually go out and get it relatively easy now or at least last time I checked so definitely worth looking into but most notably you no know, and this is all very solid information, but most notably, I wanted to point out some stuff in here, um, particularly the paragraph. I'll just read it here. Uh, so it's not surprising. I'm reading just directly from this book here. This is kind of the uh, the introduction, setting everything up before it gets into sp uh, specifics. So it's not surprising that the hottest area of switchblade collecting and the richest area for historical study is the Italian stiletto. Not that much background is known. As with the word itself, much of the history of the Italian switchblade is rather murky, but a good bit of painstaking research has provided some answers. Before we dive into that discussion, however, several things need to be observed. First, these Italian switchblades have more in common with baseball cards and comic books than with fine Renaissance, Renaissance daggers or even Randall knives. Um, I point that out because in that video, a lot of a lot of people would leave comments and say, you know, stiletto daggers were designed to penetrate rib, rib cages in close quarters assassination attempts. And I would write back, yeah, absolutely. But where in this video did you think I was talking about daggers? You know, just because the stiletto name is present in both. Stiletto is just, it's a descriptive word. It just means long and skinny. I mean, you could say, 
you could describe anything as having a stiletto shape just because that word is present in both. I mean, they're completely different knives. And in my title, I specifically said Italian style switchblades. And in the video, I only showed automatic Italian style switchblades. And that's all I ever talked about. So it did get a little uh, annoying, you know, just over and over again, people bringing up uh, these stiletto daggers and basically saying I was wrong because of these stiletto daggers. Uh, but <laughs> these have nothing to do with stiletto daggers. Just because that word appears in both, that, that word doesn't actually designate anything other than the shape. I mean, it would be like comparing, it'd be like saying, you know, if I had like a slip joint knife that had a clip point blade, and I was saying, yeah, the slip, the slip joint knife, it's not good for stabbing because it doesn't lock open. And somebody was to say, no, you're wrong because clip point daggers were made for stabbing. You know, it's ludicrous to make that argument. But anyway, so, sorry if this is a, an aggressive video, guys, but I just, you know, wanted to talk about it. Uh, let's see, where were we? Even Latima, the purveyor of perhaps the finest quality knives, advertised switchblades as novelties. And even the Italian craftsmen who made the knives didn't take them seriously. The blades were seldom hardened, meaning they would not hold an edge nor were they intended to be working knives or used for anything except perhaps stabbing. Uh, perhaps part of the enduring charm of the Italian stiletto is their essential uselessness. In truth, their only real virtues are that they look neat and that there is something quintessentially cool about a knife that opens by pushing a button. With, uh, while there are a few instances of Italian switchblades being used in a fight, and those instances are very few, despite what obstantiated media reports say, it would not be a serious knife fighter's choice of weapon. Any decent fixed blade, military, or hunting knife would be much better choice. But the psychological effect, a slim blade whipping out with a sinister snick, the characteristic that Hollywood has exploited in over 400 films, that is an advantage that belongs to the switchblade alone. Uh, so right here out of this book, right out of history, these were never intended to be a working knife, a fighting knife, anything of the sort. Obviously it is a piece of steel, and you can stab a piece of steel into something, but that's a far cry from saying that it's a practical use of such a device. So that's that. I don't know, I'll probably get 50,000 more thumbs downs on this video, but I don't know, I just wanted to... Uh, substantiate what I was saying. I, I wasn't expecting the backlash. Um, had I been expecting the backlash, I probably would have presented this information in that video. I kind of thought, you know, that obviously there'd be some younger stiletto fanboys that might, you know, dislike me or or argue, which is absolutely fine. Um, unfortunately, none of the people that really disliked that video or left negative comments actually provided any sort of uh, information to prove any other point. They just kind of thumbs down me and said I was wrong and I'm dumb. Um, so that's where I was coming from. And I'm not saying that this is 100% right, but it's kind of hard to argue with all the things that are put in front of you when you kind of think about the history of these knives, why they were made, what else was out there. And also when you consider the fact that the word stiletto just means, you know, a long skinny blade. It doesn't really designate anything other than that. Alright guys, take it easy.